Hello, I'm Cordelia. I'm Henry. And, and this, this is, is the Lion's, Lion's Roar. Today's date is March 24th, 2023. Welcome back. It's the last quarter and the home stretch of the school year. But as a school, we're still pushing to make our community more inclusive and better than ever. That's right. Here's a video from Ivy and Sydney showing what you can do as a peer and as a member of the community to be more educated and inclusive. With your vote, you will decide if you will put the entire weight of the Kansas legislator on the back of less than a handful of trans athletes in our state. Because of this, I urge you to have the basic human decency and oppose AB 2238. Children's lives depend on it. My name is Donovan Dillon. I'm a sophomore here at KU studying political science and sociology. Um, I go by he, him pronouns, and I guess my job title is community organizer. And I also follow LGBTQ plus policy during the legislative session and coordinate our state house visits. One of like the biggest things that like I value is community. I began to recognize that at LHS. Um, I joined a lot of clubs and stuff like that, a couple of sports, and I got very busy. And as a part of that, I began to like really value the people I was around. Um, it was like a second family, and I just like value community. And I think valuing every part of the community is super important, and that's like what makes. Lawrence like such a great place to be, LHS such a great place to be, and like KU. Um, and that only happens through being inclusive. We know that Lawrence High School has students from every background and the idea of keeping students from ha being comfortable in a place where they have to be, that's questionable. And if we come into a building and people don't feel like that they belong, that they have a right to be here, that they're wanted in a place, then how can you concentrate on learning? Every student has a right to feel like this is a place that they belong, that they're wanted to, and that their right to education should not be uh, interrupted because of how they are identified or uh, how even what society may say. They have a right to be here and they have a right to feel comfortable and feel like this is the place that they should be and they're wanted. I think part of what distinguishes Lawrence High from a lot of other high schools is how inclusive we are. Now that doesn't mean we're perfect, it doesn't mean there aren't those cases of people saying very hurtful, hateful things. But I think overall, what I hear, what my experience and what I hear from students and staff coming in is that what attracts them to Lawrence High is the fact that it is such an inclusive place. And pretty much you can be you at Lawrence High and you can always find a group. And if you don't have a club that meets your needs, you can probably start one. We do ourselves like a very great disservice on actually educating people and I think that causes a lot of harm, not just within like stigmas and like um, harm directly to trans people or LGBTQ plus people. I think it um, breeds a lot of ignorance, whether like willful or just like unintentional, but I don't think it does anyone a service to not educate on these issues. One of the things that I know, if people come in with their own ideas and their own thoughts and it comes from home I can't control that but we have to come in with this level of respect that this may be what home is but I have to be open enough to learn and understand another person's perspective another person's life another person's story another person's experience and empathize enough to say I would want if that was me I would want to be treated a certain way I would want to be accepted. Not being afraid to like stand up for like people, especially in like high school and stuff like that. Really like seeing like other people as like human beings um, and like having some humanity and compassion. Um, working on those like implicit biases that we have within ourselves to, you know, like just be like more humane to each other, be like more like friendly, recognizing that they are human with like emotions and a story um, is like super important. Outside of legal mandates, I don't anticipate Lawrence High will abandon its inclusive environment for all students.
Thanks for the story, Ivy and Sydney. Another way to get involved in the community is by supporting one of our many spring season sports, like boys tennis. Yep, I'm a player on the tennis team, and I'll be sure to let you know about future home matches. Here's a video for their upcoming season. It's that time of the year that spring sports are starting here at LHS. One of those sports is boys tennis. Here at the Lions Roar, we got together with some of the boys tennis players to find out what they are excited for this season. I am looking forward to playing and getting to experience new things. Uh, honestly, I'm just really happy to play. I'm excited to play in tournaments with, uh, on a team with more than three people. So I'm excited. I, I like the community at Lawrence High. I'm really trying to see improvements in my, in my play. Um, honestly, because it's my senior year, I just want to have fun. And, but also, you know, improve my game at the same time. Get some really good matches in. Um, go to uh, regionals or... Um, and hopefully perform well, I mean, and just have a good time. You know, not take myself too seriously, but at the same time, hold myself up to a good standard, so. Don't forget to come support Chesty Tennis on Wednesday, March 29th at 3 o'clock for the first home varsity tennis meet. This has been Logan Daniels reporting for the Lions Roar. Thanks for the video, Jean-Luc, Ben, and Logan. Tonight, the Thespian Club is hosting a karaoke night fundraiser, taking place in the LHS Black Box. Here's Hayden, Jean-Luc, and Jordan with more information. Recently, the LHS Thespians have made an event for people to come around, have fun, and donate to their fundraiser. The event is a karaoke night where everyone is invited to join. They're currently raising money to help their members. So the fundraiser is for our whole Thespian troupe to kind of just like fund our further endeavors as like a theater troupe and a lot of our productions, but also specifically for our students that are planning to go to International Thespian Festival this summer. So every year we attend the uh, Kansas Thespian Festival, which is in January, and our students either compete, they see shows, they, they do any number of things like uh, theater related at this festival that celebrates kind of all of what we do across the state. And then if they qualify for international events, then they are eligible to go to the International Thespian Festival, which is in the summertime in Indiana. I think that going to international festival would be a great way to make connections with people from all over the world. Um, I made connections just at Kansas Thespian Festival. I think we just want to raise as much as possible. <laughs> um, it's a thousand dollars per person to go to festival. So, and then we also have to pay for hotels and you know, like food because at festival this year they didn't feed us. I mean, the events for anyone. It's just to go have a fun time, sing with friends, do stupid stuff. I mean, yeah, you don't have to have any training or be in choir or anything. It's just a good time to go sing and have fun. So you, when you enter it, you get one song for free. And then from then on, it's $2 per song, but the limit's kind of like five. You know, you don't really want to have the same person doing 17 songs. We're going to have snacks. We're going to have raffle baskets too. And there's going to be a giant Squishmallow too. I'm going to try to win. But if you want to try to beat me for that, you should show up. <laughs> I mean, this event in general and theater is, it's a place for everyone. It's something everyone can everyone can do whether it's on stage or off stage there's a place for everyone it's a very judgment free zone and i think we are we are kind of a family so it's cool <laughs> being a part of this has made me feel really special and i've definitely met a lot of special people in this community and it's gonna be really hard to leave it behind <laughs> uh, after i graduate you know a lot of this is kind of what we come to school for this is what what we want to do with our lives. And having a good start with that in school is very important. It's like our Thespian Troop started just a few years ago and we've been kind of getting that on its feet and kind of help us through these growing pains that we're going through. It's helpful to have some, some fun, something to lean back on for our events. The event is on Friday night at six o'clock um, in the LHS Black Box, which is located kind of down by the orchestra room. Um, and kind of by the band room and the choir room. It's also by the auditorium. 
So, to show your thanks to the theater department, or to show a little bit of kindness, come up and join the fun of karaoke night. Sign up beforehand to get your songs in, you can sign up with the QR code on the screen. And don't forget to donate to help their cause. This has been Jordan, Jean-Luc, and Hayden reporting for the Lions Roar. That looks fun. I might have to go and check that out. Well, you sure can. And if you didn't hear it already, it's tonight with the Black Box at 6 p.m. Do you think you'll get up to sing? Impossible. Oh, and speaking of, Henry Keeler and Gordon Fine Day made a pretty funny video the other week. What'd they do this time? They tested if students could around our building could tell the difference between a normal Burger King burger and a plant-based Impossible burger. Well, how'd it go? Uh, let's check it out. A tasty vegan burger? <laughs> That's impossible. Newsflash, buddy. It's real. Impossible burgers are made with only plant-based ingredients that are supposed to taste the exact same as a real meaty burger. Holy moly, guacamole! We brought six different people in the room to see if they could tell the difference between a Burger King Whopper and an Impossible Burger King Whopper. Unfortunately, a little gremlin replaced some of our burgers with vile substances, which we accidentally ended up feeding to our guests. But, oh well. Mmm. <laughs> oh. That's the second one. Yeah. Here comes the airplane. Yeah. Open wide. Here. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug The real one is the second one. The first one's impossible. <laughs> Dude, it had like this pickly taste. <laughs> Oh, that's not hot at all. Well, well that failed. <laughs> Boy, what the Okay, are you, are you ready? Yeah. You, you want me to hand it to you or do you want me to just throw it in your mouth? Just <laughs> hand it to me! <laughs> Ew. Ew. The first one was the veggie thing. Throw your hand or unless you want me to throw it in No, just hand it to me. Just hand it to me. <laughs> okay. I'm scared. The first one's the veggie burger. Yeah. yeah. We got a burger and a drink. Yeah, there's a mm. drink too. Do I have to guess a drink? Yeah. Oh no. Ah. Uh, Here comes the airplane. Uh, uh, oh. Mmm. Oh. 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 Mm -mm. <laughs> this is dry. Ah. Uh, do do. I think the second burger was the real burger. Correct. Oh, correct. Now do you want to do the drink? Okay, drink. Okay, you ready for the second drink? Okay. Alright, open up. <laughs> Sorry, <man. laughs> which one do you like better? <laughs> which, which one which one did you enjoy more? Hey, it ain't got no mayonnaise on it, right? No, it's just meat and cheese. Good. Here comes the airplane. Oh, you might want to get the rest of the room. That's why. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, I Open up. Wide. <laughs> That's a hot dog. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, that tasted like sh So, in conclusion, pretty much everybody could tell the difference between the two burgers, except for Dylan. This has been Henry Keeler and Gordon Fonday reporting for Room 308 Productions. Ugh, I don't think those were just impossible burgers. Well, I'm glad I didn't volunteer to do that video. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Remember, you can stop by Room 308 to get a club or bit featured on our announcements. And remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a lion. lion. Thank <laughs> you.